Welcome everybody. Welcome to Clay Desk. My name is Syed and today I'm super excited to talk about the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate new exam guide. There's a new exam coming up in August of this year, which is not that far. It's called the SAA CO3, right? Now the previous Solutions Architect was CO2. This is O3. So we're going to talk about the exam guide itself, what to expect, and I'm also going to cover some of the key differences between the two. So this is a very, very important video. Make sure you subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and of course, hit the like button. Thank you so much for your support. So let's dive right in. I'm going to talk about the exam guide for the new AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, especially if you're preparing for the examination and you think you're going to take the new exam or you may even take the old exam i want to talk about it in a different video which is a better technique or strategy right but for now let's talk about the exam guide for the new aws certified solutions architect so pretty much i'm just going to skim through it i've already been through all of this so i'm going to highlight only those areas that are a little bit of different and i'm going to you know stress on those areas that you need to uh, take a look at if you're preparing for the new exam, which is again upcoming in August. Otherwise, you can just still take the uh, existing exam, which is perfectly fine as well. All right, so the target candidate description says that at least one year of hands on experience designing cloud solutions that use AWS services. Now, I'm going to stress this right here. The new exam is shifting a little bit towards design concepts as opposed to configuration, management, monitoring, and so on, right? So the focus here is on design. And this is wonderful because I'm a big advocate of understanding the fundamentals of architecture design before you can actually dive into hands-on and start to work with it, right? So this is um, perfectly in line of what is going to happen. So the exam type stays the same, multiple choice, multiple response. And of course, let's scroll down. The result is, is still the same. The passing score is 720 from a scale score of 100 to 1000. So which is pretty much the same as the old exam. Here's the course outline. So we take a look at the various domains that it covers. Now, this is a little bit of difference between the previous exam. See if I can bring it up. So let's move here awesome so the top one that you see is the old aws certified solutions architect associate saa co2 whereas the bottom one is the newer exam that we're talking about so i'm just going to quickly compare the domain areas and you'll you know just by looking at it you'll realize that the domain one talks about design resilient architectures in the old exam but in the new upcoming exam they talk about they focus more on the design secure architectures so a little bit of paradigm shift here right so shifting the focus so, so it's not focusing on the resiliency or the reliability of your underlying architecture or infrastructure but they will be focusing more on the secure or security right and that kind of makes sense because the way things are moving forward in the technology area that's what's happening in the future anyways, right? So 30% of the exam is going to cover design secure architectures in the new upcoming exam, whereas in the previous, they were just talking about the resilient architectures. Domain two in the old syllabus was design high performing architectures, and they've shifted the resilient architectures in domain two. So a little bit of just change from you know one notch down in domain two, which is similar to domain one in the previous exam, right? So not to worry. The only difference here is that it's only 26% uh, within the new syllabus or the new exam, whereas previously or the existing exam has 20 or 30%, okay, of resilient architectures examination questions. Domain three, in the new exam is design high performing architectures whereas in domain three in the old exam or the existing of course exam is design secure applications and architectures which is 24 percent and in the upcoming 
CO03 of the new exam will be design high performing architectures will be covering 24% as well. So you see a little bit of difference here as well. Basically what they did was they shifted the domain two of the existing and then they shifted it to domain three in the upcoming exam. And they changed the percent of exam questions to be lower than what we currently have in the existing exam. All right, and finally we have domain four, which is designing cost optimized architectures, which is exactly the same as domain four of the existing exam, but only 20% is covered in the new upcoming as opposed to the 18% of the existing exam. So this is a wonderful way for you to actually take a look at it and then kind of prepare yourself. Not only that, if even if you were taking the existing exam, by the way, which is fine, but in the future, you definitely want to take a look at what AWS is actually going towards, right? So they're moving towards more on secure architectures. And all of these are just primarily, you know, architectures because the solutions architect job or the role is to design, you know, resilient, reliable, secure, high performing, cost optimized architectures. Boom, there you go. All right, so I wanted to cover this. Let's scroll down. There's a few other things that I wanted to um, highlight. By the way, this, I'll leave a link in the description so you can download the PDF or you can go to our blog at blog.credes.com and you can certainly take a look at all these details and much more because I put a lot more um, you know, substance in our blog so you can take a look at it and also give you tips and tricks and of course a lot of, lot of the exam questions as well, real exam questions. All right, so I'm going to skip the domains because I've highlighted those. This is all the detail. Next, I want to talk about the important area here that will help you prepare uh, for this particular upcoming AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam. All right, so here's the appendix, which is pretty cool. Which key tools, technologies, and concepts might be covered on the exam? So we're looking at compute, EC2, of course, standard, cost management, questions about database, disaster recovery, high performance, management and governance, microservices. This is something new, by the way. The microservices and component decoupling is something sort of like upcoming in the new exam. So you may want to brush up on microservices architecture. Yeah, you can go check out the other videos we have. Um, I have on this channel, and of course, full course on microservices as well. So yeah, go take that course. That's gonna help you prepare for this particular upcoming changes. Migration, data transfer, networking connectivity, content delivery, resiliency, security, serverless, and event-driven design principles, right? Again, that is sort of like covered in the microservices architecture. So they're focusing more towards resilient, secure architectures, okay? So that's something that for you to kind of take a look at and then decide, you know, which to practice and what to learn. AWS services and features, Again, you can go through these under analytics, application integration. These are straightforward. Uh, this is something new, by the way. You may find questions regarding managed streaming for Apache Kafka because um, as we move forward into the next you know, years and so on, definitely streaming is going to be uh, becoming important, right? Videos um, are, are yeah, growing exponentially. So that's something you want to focus on too and add it to your learning list right and we have cost management uh, compute containers if you've not worked with docker or kubernetes probably a good idea to make sure you have at least a fundamental knowledge of docker containers right and of course how they work uh, within the aws ecosystem and we have the databases um, probably new like for uh, amazon key spaces this is something um, new that you'll find in the upcoming exam and a couple of other things that you want to focus on that's listed right here. All right, so let's scroll down. Another, the last important part I want to talk about is, of course, the out of scope AWS services and features. So, this is something uh, important because as you're preparing for the exam, whether it's the existing exam or the upcoming, this is the upcoming, of course, the new exam, it's important to take a look at the out of scope so you don't, you know, spend a lot of time in basically you know learning these services so for example uh, amazon cloud search is out of scope 
okay, which is basically a non-exhaustive list of AWS services and features that are not covered on the exam. So Amazon Cloud Storage is not covered. Amazon MWAA is not covered. Sumerian is not covered. Managed Blockchain is not covered. LightSail is not covered, and so on. So there's a whole list that you can take a look at it that will help you so like uh, not spend too much time on these services and stay focused on the actual content of the exam itself. So I'm gonna give you the link in the description and of course on our blog, like I mentioned earlier, all of these, I'll be talking more about other areas, more specific areas of this upcoming exam. I'll also be adding new lectures, by the way, to our existing course that is on claydesk.com, which will help you prepare for this particular uh, new syllabus. So I hope this helps. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video with your colleagues and hope this helps understanding the difference between the existing exam and the new exam and the changes itself. With this, thanks so much for watching. My name is Syed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.